Hi, this is a quick video on how to use Slingshot Pro. First, we'll log in with a school account. Now, it helps to have the books that you're going to assign to your classes ready before you log in. Okay, as soon as you enter your username and password, you should come up with this section. It'll give you a course list with action needed, and because of the recent changes, some courses may need new adoptions. So here we have action needed, outstanding, researching availability, additional information needed, or complete. So we'll just go with action needed right now. Now, we have a few courses here that overlap requirements. For instance, 472, 572, and 672 all have the same base requirements for textbooks. Now, the requirements in the course are slightly different, but the text requirements are the same. Currently, there is no way to specify all three of these courses as having the same textbooks. So you will need to set up each of these courses individually. And again, the courses that have already been set up are now no longer complete due to the changes that took place last week with Slingshot Pro. So going into the first course, we're gonna choose adoption. And this course has one required text and one optional text. So we're gonna to try to add an adoption. Now we can search by the ISBN 13, name, author, other, other, well, actually just about anything. In this case, it came up with the ISBN 13 right there with the CompTIA Pentest Plus Cert Guide. So we're gonna go ahead and we will assign this book. Select it. Is this course material required? This is the required text, so yes. Uh, would it be okay to moving back or up an edition? Unfortunately for this class, no, we can't. In some other classes, we certainly can. If this product comes with a bind-in component, such as an access code, is the component required? In this case, no, it's not. We have our own lab. And how many students will be using this? About 24 students. Any other, anything else we might wanna put in there, you can put that in right here. So we could say, yes, use this adoption for every section I'm responsible for, or no, just this once. We can say, no, certainly. Go ahead and use it throughout the entire fall. And in this case, I'll simply say that we're gonna start August 1st. From that point, no expiration date, and I'll add adoption. Now that I've got a single adoption ready, I'm gonna go ahead and place the optional text under the course as well. And as was mentioned in an earlier email, some of us may have done this two or this is my third time because your courses may be deleted and you will need to go through and reset up your course materials. I believe this is the last time that we will need to set up this course material this year. So I'm gonna say this is not required, and yes, they can move around a little bit with this, and no, you don't need that, and how many students? We'll be looking at 24. Next, and I'll say absolutely go for it, uh, since these sections only have one section, it doesn't really matter. Okay, that's it. So now we have one course set up for each of our courses. We'll just need to go back over and add adoptions. In order to get back over to that section, of course, you can just choose adopt at the top or adopt on the left-hand side, and we can go back and select the courses that, well, this is a course that I had set up earlier, and we can select that course. 
Upon clicking this course, you'll see that Principles of Cryptography, both of the books are currently under investigation. So they're looking into it right now and it should be ready. So that's all we need to do with that at this point. If you click Activity and Messages, you'll see that the text was assigned to the course and that they are researching availability. No action is needed at this time. That is it. That's a short video on how to select your textbooks in Slingshot Pro.